Hi, my name is Tiffany Domina from howtoentrepreneur.org. And today I want to talk to you about Flex Offers. Flex Offers is an affiliate network that is really a great company to work with. And so I want to show you a full tour of Flex Offers and give you an explanation of how it works, give you a brief explanation of how affiliate marketing works, and then give you some next steps. If you want to learn how to how to do affiliate marketing, how to start your website, how to grow your traffic, how to monetize your traffic. If you want to learn any of those things, I want to give you some next steps on how you can do that. It's likely that if you're here, you probably have um, heard of affiliate marketing before. Um, it's likely that you might even be making money with it, possibly with another affiliate network, and you want to know how Flex Offers works. So this will be a tour. It'll also be an explanation of affiliate marketing. I'll show you some, some different things that maybe you might not know. So let's see. Let's start with what is Flex Offer. So I, I briefly told you that it's an affiliate network. And so basically how affiliate marketing works is as an affiliate or a publisher, um, you would create content, whether that's audio content, whether that's video content, whether that is written content, you create content and um, people can, people can, uh, you grow an audience around the content and to monetize that you can do affiliate marketing, which is when you would um, join an affiliate program, partner with a merchant that has products and services, and you recommend products and services to your audience. So that is basically how it works. Affiliate marketing can work for online businesses, but it can also work for local businesses as well. There are situations where like companies like accounting firms, they often would recommend their clients to um, use maybe an accounting software. And so they can join an affiliate program so that when they recommend their clients to an accounting software, they can get a commission for that sale. Similarly, um, legal companies and different companies can do that as well. So let's get started talking about what is a, what is Flex Offers. So Flex Offers is one of the more mature affiliate networks that's been in the industry for a long time. They have more than 12,000 advertisers that they work with in various niches, um, including like home and garden, um, including financial services, including credit cards. And so basically there's a lot of different niches that can find merchants and collaborate with them through Flex Offers. So um, as you can see, this is uh, my post with more information on how to entrepreneur. So you can stop by my website and um, and take a look at this information. If this video looks good to you and you want to see it, you know, some people are visual learners. So if you want to see the content, then you can stop by my website and take a look. So they have more than 12,000 advertisers. Some of them are very reputable, like Macy's, Holiday Inn, Yahoo, Avon, Clinique, Olay, and Lenovo. But they also have smaller companies that might be, um, you know, might have less familiarity. So there's a lot of potential with um, going over to Flex Offers and looking at the programs that they have. Some of them, um, some of the newer ones have some really good products and services. And um, you, can, you can verify that. You definitely want to verify that. Do your due diligence and make sure that the things you recommend to people are legitimately going to solve their problems. But um, there's a lot of variety to choose from over at Flex Offers. So as you can see, um, this is just a screenshot of the Flex Offers platform. But when you look here, you can see how they have everything categorized, um, automotive, consumer electronics, entertainment, home and garden, lifestyle, recreation, seasonal promotions. So that is a great way for you to um, 
for you to look through the programs and find something that might be relevant to your niche. Um, so basically, flex offers, um, they serve as the middleman between the merchant and between the affiliate or publishing company. They, um, they offer sales and conversion tracking, publisher payment tracking links, reporting, compliance monitoring, publisher pre-screening and recruiting, publisher application processing, publisher support, and guidance on the best promotional information. So all of that is valuable services that's offered through Flex Offers to the affiliate and to the merchant. So um, by using their software, then I'm able to see how many referrals I'm sending over to the merchant and the, the merchant can see the same um, information so they can know like how much I'm earning them and things like that. So it's most common for Flex Offers publishers to use um, video marketing, blogging, podcasting, or even offline marketing to uh, offer these referrals to the merchants. So basically the publishers um, are creating content or creating a means for the um, merchant to get sales or to get leads for their businesses. Okay, so an example of a relevant offer would be a vacation company who becomes an affiliate of a car rental company. So let's say I am a travel blogger and I write about, um, about travel all over the world. I can collaborate with a car rental company that possibly services the audience that I write to and, and uh, get paid commissions whenever I send a person their way. It's, it's the same with, um, it could be a hotel that does the same thing and a lot of them do. So when they, uh, when you book a hotel, they'll say, this is um, how the price that you can pay when you also book the car rental and they have collaborations and partnerships so that it makes it a benefit to them, possibly a commission or something of that sort when they refer people like that. So another example would be a financial advisor who becomes an affiliate of an investment company. So like when you, as a financial advisor, if you were to have customers who come in and want to buy investment products, which is likely, then you can refer them to a, a investment product that you know works well, that will satisfy their investment goals, and you can get paid a commission when you make that referral. It's really sweet. And then another example would be a beauty YouTuber. Um, who becomes an affiliate of a makeup company. So she might be doing her makeup and showing people how to apply makeup and how to feel more confident about themselves and how to feel more beautiful. And when she's doing her videos, then she can recommend a makeup that works really well, that would satisfy her viewers, um, what they're looking for. So that's how, um, how affiliate marketing works. And Flex Offers has a lot of programs like these so that if you had a niche like that, then you can find investment companies to collaborate with or rental companies or makeup companies that you can collaborate with because Flex Offers has more than 12,000 advertisers. And so they can help you find something relevant to your niche, most of them at least. Okay, so as a result, both would make money. The person who, who makes the referral and then the merchant too, because the merchant will have a customer they otherwise may not have. And then the publisher would, um, that would be pretty, that's the main uh, job of the publisher is to um, make sure to send these referrals. So how do you make money with flex offers? There are programs that are designed two different ways um, they have, or actually it's more than that. So as you can see, cost per sale, cost per action, cost per lead, cost per click, cost per install. So Flex Offers has several different um, categories of their 
affiliate programs. The most common that you'll hear about when you're in internet marketing circles is um, CPA marketing or cost per action marketing, or you'll also they they also call it cost per lead marketing, and the other one is cost per sale. Those are the most two common ones that you'll hear. But as you can see, Flex Offers enables you to segment that so that you can, if you're interested in cost per lead and, and you want to focus on cost per lead right now, you can segment that and you can choose only cost per lead offers. So let me explain what cost per lead is versus cost per sale, um, just in case that's maybe that's something unfamiliar. So cost per lead is when you get paid for sending a lead the, even before they make a purchase. So some companies will pay for the lead. Um, some of those companies are like insurance companies, credit card companies. It really depends. But sometimes you'll find companies who will pay just for the lead. And they, they'll tell you what's required from the lead. Sometimes it's a survey. It might be an, a credit card application being filled out. It might be a um, request for an insurance quote. Um, it might just be an email. So some of the cost per lead offers, um, some affiliates have an easier experience with converting a cost per lead offer versus a cost per sale offer. And the reason for that is because it usually requires less context, less authority, and less trust being built because you don't require, the person isn't required to pull out a credit card. So, um, those are cost per lead. Cost per sale is when you actually get paid for the sale. So sometimes you get paid a commission, sometimes you get paid a set rate, and sometimes um, it, it just varies. But cost per sale is when you get paid for the sale. Um, so, yeah, I gave you some good examples of what cost per action um opportunities look like over on my post about flex offer so if you stop by hotentrepreneur.org you can take a look at this post and possibly get some nuggets that i don't put in the video um but cost per sale is i i would say it's the most common um there are different cost per lead offers out there but i would say cost per sale is most common and so what's required for either one, you still have to build context, authority, and trust. So it's not like you go and you sign up for these programs, you take the links, you put them on your website and expect sales. You have to, um, you have to build that context with the customer. You have to build that authority and you have to build that trust. So um, which are the best products to promote on Flex Offers? The best products are the most relevant to your audience. Now, some people would say that cost per lead are best, and some people will say they like cost per sale. Some people say they like high ticket offers. Um, that's all preferential. Um, I, I say that the best products to promote are the ones that solve problems for the people that are in your audience. And the best products to promote are the ones that are the most relevant. Um, so how can you make money with flex offers? Or how much money can you make with flex offers? So it varies. It varies a lot because um, each affiliate program may have different commissions, may have a different payout structure, um, the products and services have different prices. So, for example, um, maybe you decide to make your website on greeting cards and the average greeting card is $2 um, and you get a percentage of that, then it would be you would have to have a lot of volume in order to make good money. But with, um, with another program, like let's say your website is about... Um, is about solar energy and you're referring people to solar panels, then your affiliate commission can be much higher. So it depends on um, 
It depends on the niche you're in. It depends on the products that you're promoting. It depends on the amount of commission that you can get. So let's do a little bit of the math. If you want to do your business plan um, and you want to kind of uh, do a little bit of the math, Flex Offers actually helps you with that because they do show you um, a little bit of data about what each of the merchants is um, about the payout and things like that. They show you how much you can make per lead or how much you make per sale or what the commission is like. Um, and then they, they show you the network rank as well. And the network rank shows you how well it's selling on other people's sites. Now, you can, you can have a website that's much more relevant for the merchant than... Um, than what's currently there. So like, for example, I have this image here, this is Gusto. Um, and so let's say I decide to make a website on human resources. So if I make a website on human resources and the people that come to my website are highly relevant to Gusto, then it's likely that I would make like you know, the commissions and that the conversion rate would be higher than a person like me who my website is on entrepreneurship. So I have a variety of different things. So um, that's why people tell you to niche down because um, by niching down, then it offers you that increased relevance, um, that increased ability to create authority um, in a smaller category. So people feel like you're definitely um, trustworthy, more trustworthy. Okay, so if you were to do the math and you were to use this program that pays out $40 per lead and you had 10,000 page views per month and you were to estimate that 3% of them will convert to this um, affiliate program, then your math will look something like this. 3% of 10,000 page views equals 30 leads. And 30 leads at $40 is $1,200. So that would be $1,200 per month for referring people to this um, product. So you can do the same thing um, for the affiliate products that you want to do, but be mindful that um, 10,000 page views, um, if, if you only write one post with this affiliate product and you only get 100 page views on that post, then it might take a longer period of time to be able to get the conversions and the income um, if you write like several posts on that same opportunity and you get 100 page views per post then you have a lot more likelihood that you'll convert because you'll have more traffic coming to that same offer. So when you're going over to Flex Offers and you're looking for different merchants to collaborate with, you want to be mindful of that, that uh, you have to get the visibility to those offers. You have to get the traffic to those offers, not 100% of the traffic that sees that link is going is typically going to convert. Um, so it's usually a less than 10% conversion rate. Of course, that varies, but it's usually less than 10% conversion rate. And so if you take your overall traffic, and let's say you have 10,000 page views on your website, or Let's say you have 10,000 page views on your website. Those 10,000 page views are going to be spread ac across all of the content, across the pages, across the posts. So then you'll have a smaller amount of traffic to each specific post, which means that a smaller, per like a smaller chance of conversion. So just be mindful of that when you're doing your math um, and you're expecting these conversions. Okay, so to get started with Flex Offers, they have um, two ways to get started. You can get started as either an advertiser or as a publisher. As an advertiser, um, you would be the person with the product and service, and you would be looking for 
um, publishers who would create content and promote your products and services. So you can sign up at Flex Offers by filling out their application. As you can see, it's fairly simple. Then you, as the publisher, um, as a publisher, you fill out this uh, application that looks something like this, and you give some personal information, and then they can approve or disapprove you. And it's the same way for the advertisers. They don't have to accept everyone. And so depending on what your website's about, depending on what your product and services are, then they can decide to approve or disapprove you. If you're interested in getting started with Flex Offers, then I have the information here, the exact link for the application. You can stop by howtoentrepreneur.org and check a look at um, this article and get started with the application. Okay, so Flex Offers has two different payment options. They have the Net 7 and the Net 30. The Net 7 means that you get paid seven days after um, after invoicing of the merchant. The net 30 means you get paid 30 days after the invoicing of the merchant. So um, there are some affiliate networks that pay, they, they say they pay instantly, daily, weekly, or monthly. Um, but as you can see, Flex Offers is a little bit different in that regard. So if you're looking for uh, an affiliate network that pays daily or that pays weekly or something like that. This won't be necessarily the one unless you are focused on like net seven uh, payment. But even with that, that may not be what you're looking for. So the good and the bad um, for flex offers. I personally really like working with Flex Offers. They have a lot of reputable companies. They have a lot of products and services, and a lot of them are very high quality. It's not like other affiliate networks where you have to shop around so much um, because a lot of the merchants are scams and things like that. With this one, there's a lot of clean, high quality, um, reputable companies to work with that offer really good solutions so you can take a look at them and then they have great reports that i'll show you in a little bit but you can see how many clicks how many impressions you can take a look at how um, your affiliate promotions are going and you can also see which which merchants which affiliate programs are converting the best for you and it can give you information that can help you to find other similar products and services that you can recommend to your uh, customers. Or it can also give you ideas for what type of products you can create in-house if you decide that you want to create your own product line uh, for your business. So this can be a good um, minimum viable funnel for you. You can take um, make some partnerships with different flex offer companies. And then after you see kind of which direction your audience is really interested in, then you can start to create your own products. So this would be a really inexpensive way to test out your audience instead of to spend all of the money on product development and then realize that um, you're completely off. Another good thing about Flex Offers is the support that you get from an affiliate manager. So you can actually call, you can email, you can live chat with them, and you can get information. Um, and it can be really, really helpful, the information you can get from an affiliate manager. Um, as far as the bed, if you are looking for instant daily or weekly payment, then the next net seven and net 30 payment terms might be a turnoff for you. For me personally, it's not, it's not, but for some people it might be. Um, they are suitable for a lot of niches, but not all of them. So I'm not sure which ones that is applicable to, but I'm sure there's some niche out there that, um, that the 12,000 advertisers just wouldn't be suitable for. And then another thing is, 
Um, you really have to take your time doing the due diligence. When you're looking at flex offers and you and they, they have 12,000 advertisers and you really want to find um, products and services that are solutions for your um, audience. And as a result, that can be time consuming because um, like they have a lot of a lot of products and services out there and you really want to make sure that you're referring your audience to the highest quality products and services. So you want to go and possibly give them a call and uh, possibly purchase a product or buy a sample or um, even stop by if you can. Um, so the process of doing that due diligence can take time before you make those partnerships and collaborations with the affiliate networks but it's just a part of the process. For me, um, I started working with Flex Offers in January and I did spend a lot of time trying to find um, you know, good products and services and to do my research and even uh, created reviews about these different products and services that um, I had done research about because I wanted to make sure that when people come to How to Entrepreneur and they um, get a recommendation from me, that it is a legitimate recommendation and that I can be confident and have peace of mind that they're going to get a good service from them. So you want to do the same thing because over the long haul in this business as an affiliate, it's really going to be important to establish a good reputation. There are affiliates out there who are more concerned about the commissions that they make and the short-term gain that they get. Um, and they put that, that, that takes precedence over their customers and the, the um, value for the customer. And people can see through that over time. So you really want to be um, the person who puts the value for the customer first before strong reputation and a strong reputation is really valuable and a strong reputation is what keeps you in business over time. So the last and final con is that they don't train affiliates. That is not something that they um, typically offer with affiliate networks. Um, you usually have to come as a publisher or as an affiliate who already is somewhat established and understands the basics and the groundwork. So I recommend Wealthy Affiliate as a place to go and get your training on how to set up your website, how to get traffic to it. They teach a variety of traffic generation methods, how to monetize your website. Affiliate marketing is one way, but they also teach a variety of monetization me me methods. And they also give you tools like hosting, uh, market research tools, and different things that can be helpful to get you ranking and to get your website out there. Then on top of that, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching to the um, premium members there. So if you become a referral through How to Entrepreneur, then I can help you and answer the questions that you might have as you're building your online business. And alongside that, there's a huge community of over a million entrepreneurs who are building online businesses. So you, you will have a lot of support along the way because a lot of people who get into affiliate marketing, they realize that um, they don't know anybody around them who's currently doing it. And so when you tell somebody, I want to be an affiliate marketer, or when you tell somebody, I want to be a blogger, or I want to be an internet marketer, then you get a lot of blank stares or you get a lot of um, skepticism and things like that because people haven't seen it before. So it's just really helpful to get around a community of people who have seen it before, who um, are having some experience with it so you can have the support that you need. So if you are finding yourself in that situation where all of this sounds interesting to you, but you want more, um, more help with applying um, this information, using flex offers, using uh, affiliate networks, making affiliate income, then definitely check out the training. You can stop by my website, hotentrepreneur.org, and get the training you need. So I added this in, uh, the information about the BBB, so you can see 
um, that there are any complaints. There isn't anything bad being said about Flex offers, and that's a huge relief because you want to work with good companies. You don't want to work with an affiliate network that's having a history of payout issues or having an issue with banning people's accounts after they've made a commission. Like there are affiliate networks out there who are not practicing ethics. And so you don't want to become a part of that. Flex Offers actually has a, a great uh, reputation. For me, um, this is some proof of being able to make money with Flex Offers. Um, for when this website, Hot Entrepreneur, was still young and I was still in the sandbox and not quite able to rank using search engine optimization quite yet. So it was exciting for me that despite being in the sandbox, despite having very little traffic to the website, that I was still able to make $80 in commissions from Flex Offer. So I made sure to include that here because that was um, you can make money from it even when you have little traffic, um, depending on what what is all about the context authority and trust that you build. And it's all about the programs that you choose, the commissions that they offer, the products and service that they have, and just calculating all that. But it is possible to make money online even early on. Okay, so for this young lady, um, I included her story because um, she had a story of making 10,000 on flex offers in two months. So you can see her experience was that she had a personal finance blog. She used Facebook ads and drew people over to a cost per lead offer. Um, and it was Credit Sesame. She was sending people from Facebook over to Credit Sesame's cost per lead offer. So when people would sign up for, um, when people would sign up for their credit report and credit monitoring, then she was able to get, um, she was able to get a commission for each one. So that's something actually to feel good about because if you're helping people with um, improving their credit score or becoming financially free or becoming financially independent and things like that, I mean, affiliate marketing doesn't have to be unethical. Affiliate marketing doesn't have to be snaky and it doesn't have to um, be spammy or anything like this. The way she did it is so clean. You know, she put up a Facebook ad, people responded to the Facebook ad. They signed up to get credit monitoring. They didn't have to pay anything additional um, to her or to, cre to Credit Sesame because of her. And when they were going in a path they wanted to go on anyway, then she was able to make a, a um, commission from that referral. That's awesome. And she was able to make 10000 within two months. That's pretty awesome. And then it says she was paying less than 25 cents per lead, so her expenses were low. So her profit was pretty high. That's that's cool. So this person mentioned that they were able to earn um, more than 3,700 with Flex Offers. So I want, I want you to be mindful that Flex Offers isn't the only affiliate network. Um, there are more affiliate programs out there. So this is just one method of monetization. But if you have multiple streams of income, and let's say, for example, you have people who are going to Credit Sesame who are um, getting their credit reports, and then you have people who are um, who maybe they're signing up for investment products, and maybe you have people who are signing up for insurance or different things. And all of these streams of income are coming in. It can really build a solid um, income, a solid affiliate income. And then you can also have services or um, information products or um, physical products and all of these different things that you can add to monetize your business. So this is just one stream of income that can grow into something really um, exciting. Okay, so... You got to see that. Now the Flex Offers price 
Flex offers charges advertisers a 1% network fee for managing the affiliate program. So I'm, I'm not experienced as an advertiser, so I can't say for sure um, how that would be from an advertiser standpoint, but 1% sounds extremely reasonable. And as a publisher, it's free to sign up. So if you are interested in becoming an affiliate marketer and you want to sign up um, with some of these affiliate programs and monetize your content with them, it's free to sign up. Now let's go and do a tour of Flex Offers so you can see how I personally use them and how you could use them. So I log on as a publisher. Okay, so once you're logged on, as you can see across the top, it shows you um, all of these things that your earnings will be here Let's see. Uh oh. Okay, as you can see, your earnings will be here. You can have several different websites that are um, enrolled inside of Flex Offers. Um, it gives you a publisher number. You can see this is the homepage and the, the navigation is fairly simple. Um, if you want to look for advertisers is here, the reports, the links. Um, they have a Flex Rev Share program. So if you sign up as a publisher and you refer other publishers, then you're able to get a commission from the sales of those that you refer. It's only, it's a single tier program. It's not multi-level marketing. Um, so you don't get um, paid commissions from more than one level of referrals. You you get paid only from one level. So it's more it's an affiliate program, not multi-level. But when you look, um, they have a basic report here. So you can see there's been no um, clicks or impressions on how to entrepreneur for these different Flex offers affiliate programs as of today. But um, you can scroll down and look at the month. And then you can see that um, I've had 115 impressions, um, no sales, no Flex Rev share, um, no pending payout right now. And um, I've had 80 clicks to the programs that I'm a part of inside of Flex Offers. So um, this is just a sample of some of the programs like they, you can see these are the newest programs that they've added in the last seven days. So this is always um, changing but that's something you can stop by and look and see if there's more programs that are um, more relevant to you periodically because they'll have that on the homepage. But when you go to look for advertisers, let's say you decide you want to uh, monetize your content more um, and so you, you wanna look for more advertisers. They have everything split here. And so like we mentioned before, you want to choose something that's highly relevant that will solve a problem for your target audience. So if you are, um, so you'll have to decide what that looks like. If you're in the health niche, then um, you have to decide what is your audience main problem? Is there a problem weight loss? Is there a problem ergonomics? Is there a problem, um, you know, being able to sleep? Or what is their problem? And then you want to find a merchant that offers a solution for that. 
So um, let's say that, let's use health. We're making a health um, site. Okay, so let's go to health and wellness. So when you're looking, it's important to choose a narrow enough niche that you can choose a, pro, a, a merchant or products and services that can solve their problem. If your niche is too broad, then it'll be very difficult to find um, products and services that can actually solve a problem for them. So you want to, um, of course, you can have an authority site that solves several problems, but you have to start somewhere. And so um, an authority site is usually a compilation of several small niche sites. It might be like a health and wellness site, authority site, but then they have a lot of content on yoga and they have a lot of content on weight loss and they have a lot of content on vitamin intake. And so you have to really choose several niches and dominate these little niches on your authority site and build from there. So let's look at, um, so as you can see, this is a lot of programs and not all of them might be familiar to you. So once you see all of these, then you have to go and do more research. This is one I'm familiar with. Um, and so if I were not familiar with them and I wanted to choose a company that I wasn't familiar with, I'd probably go to their website. I might give them a call. I might order some products and, and see how their, um, services, see how their products are and see if it's something that I know would solve a problem for the people that, um, come to my website. But as you can see, just by glancing, the payout is 11.2% on sales. Um, they sell skincare, skin aging products, and they have um, proven performance testing. Um, they they have scientists that de design their skincare products. So this, this description here tells you a lot about the company. And then as you can see, they have a 45 day cookie duration. What that means is that if someone, if you're a part of this affiliate program and you have um, articles or videos or audio that is directing people to buy products from this company, from Olay, then they, they, they may not buy the product that day. And if they don't, they, they can buy anywhere within a 45 day window and you'll still be able to get your commission. That's what the 45 day cookie duration means. Some companies will have a longer cookie duration. Some of them will have a shorter cookie duration. For example, um, a lot of people are part of the Amazon Associates affiliate program. Amazon has a 24 hour cookie duration. So that means that if the person doesn't buy within 24 hours, then you don't get the commission for that sale. So 45 days is, a, is much more um, gr like grace for you. And it gives you much more opportunity to get a commission from the sale. This is also very important when you're on Flex Offers and you're looking at a program to become a part of. It's important to look at the terms and conditions because the terms and conditions will tell you what you can and can't do and what will get you banned from the program. So um, it is, if you decide like search engine optimization and creating content, all of that is, is a part of driving traffic online, but you might decide that you want to do paid advertising. You want to do search engine marketing. You want to create paid ads on Google or on Bing or um, on Yahoo. And so these are the rules. If you decide to use paid ads, you cannot uh, bid on these keywords. 
They don't want you to bid on their brand name keywords. And so if you do that, then you can be banned from their program. And the unfortunate thing is you can bid on these keywords, earn commissions, and once they find out that you've been bidding on their keywords, then they can ban your account and you won't get paid your commissions. So I've seen that happen before. Um, but the idea is to read the terms and conditions beforehand and to make sure that you you abide by them. Um, they, they don't want you to bid on their brand name, um, but they also give you recommendations and suggestions, recommended bidding keywords. So if you decide to do paid advertising, you can bid on any of these keywords and direct the traffic to your post about any of these um, solutions. So you can do a post like uh, 27 ways to rejuvenate your skin and direct traffic. You can do a post like um, 15 best skincare products for women. Um, so all of those are ways that you can direct traffic either to your post. They don't allow you to direct link. This is also an important part of the terms and service. Some companies will allow you to um, bid in the search engines. Um, and like, let's say you decide to bid on body care some companies will allow you to bid on body care and send the traffic directly to, in this case, it would be Olay's site. So the person, the customer would never know that you were the one paying for the ad and you were the reason, the re reason why they were re referred to that site. Some companies allow that, but in this case, they don't. They want you to, um, to, you can bid on the keyword, send the traffic from the search engines to your website, from your website to their website. So you have to read the terms and conditions. Um, Flex Offers has terms and conditions for each of their affiliate programs. And it helps you to know what you can do and what you can't do while you're working with these affiliate com or merchants. And then also, as you can see, it tells you a list of unacceptable websites. Now, this these terms and conditions will be different for each affiliate program. So it can take some time to go through and to decide on a good affiliate partner because you want to decide um, for when you have to decide what is going to be my way of driving traffic to these offers. How am I gonna like? How am I gonna monetize my business by doing this? So you can decide to do PPC. You want to make sure that um, when you do that, that you choose products and services that will uh, convert for you in a profitable way. So um, it just takes time and thought and planning and laying everything out. But anyway, um, in this case, you can see they don't want websites of adult nature or religious or political or websites with foul language. So that is the case for a lot of these different affiliate programs. Um, so you have to apply based off of um, the, the um, an agreement in the way that your website is conducted and the way that the merchant is conducted. So after you've read the terms and conditions, then you click, yes, I agree, and then you apply to the program. On Flex Offers, you can apply for as many programs as you want to at the same time. I've never had a problem or been banned for applying for too many programs at the same time, so I haven't seen anyone experience that problem before. You can apply for several of them. You may not be accepted into all of them, um, depending on your sales track record, depending on your website and the content there, depending on even the quality of your website. Some companies won't accept affiliates that have errors in grammar and spelling recurrently. Some of them, if your uh, design doesn't look well put together, they don't want to be associated with that because it affects their reputation 
who they decide to partner with in affiliate collaborations. So that's also something to be mindful of when you work with uh, these companies, especially the ones with a bigger reputation, they have a higher standard of the affiliates. So um, you and if you get declined from or disapproved from an affiliate program, it doesn't have to stop there. You can apply again um, later on down the line. You can, it's best to find out why they uh, disapproved you. So if in my case, I usually will message um, the person who's over the affiliate program and ask, um, I see that I was disapproved for this reason, or I was disapproved from this affiliate program, and I just want to know why. And it's not because you're trying to be argumentative, but if you really feel like this is a good collaboration, then you want to prepare yourself for the future when you're more suitable to make that collaboration. Um, and so if they have a requirement for a certain amount of traffic or a certain amount of sales or whatever the case is, then you can set your sights on that in the future. So once you know why they uh, they disapproved you, then you can go back to the drawing board and start to prepare your brand and prepare your website for the future when you can be approved. So um, finally, let me show you the reports that you can see and use um, at Flex Offers. Okay, so the reports that can be really exciting, especially after you are getting more traffic and more clicks and conversions and things like that. You can come by here and um, you can look at, like, let's make it a little more action, two clicks and stuff that is not. So let's look at a little more action. So you can kind of see how the traf how the um, graphs will work. As you can see, I started working with um, Flex Offers in January, and I was able to get a commission right away. Um, but since then, I haven't done much promotion of the affiliate programs that I'm in at Flex Offers. I have gotten. 327 clicks, as you can see. Um, and so they have these nice graphs to help you see um, how everything's going. And then they have, um, it shows you your sales. It shows you how many impressions. And it shows you the trend. So a nice thing is you can, um, You can work on this, you can set goals, because usually in order to get sales, um, in order to get sales with affiliate marketing, you have to get this up. In order to get sales with affiliate marketing, you have to get this the impressions up. More people have to see the um, products and services that you're promoting. The more people that see it, the more clicks you can expect, the more clicks you can expect, the more sales you can expect. So if I were to want to improve um, my income through Flex Offers, then the first goal I would set is to get more impressions on the things that I have there. That might mean, that probably means creating more content that is geared towards 
the um, affiliate programs that I'm in at Flex offers. So I, w- I would probably be creating more content about whatever affiliate programs I'm accepted in. And that would increase the impressions on the links that I have. And the impressions would also positively increase the links, especially if I do good copywriting, I create a lot of context, authority, and trust in the post, then I should be getting more impressions, I should be getting more links, and in turn, I should be getting more sales. So that's how it goes. Um, So hopefully this video showing you what is Flex Offers was helpful for you, and hopefully um, you use this information to help to grow your, your business from idea into an enterprise. If you need more help on growing your business from idea to enterprise, stop by howtoentrepreneur.org. I have a free e-course there, 10-step e-course that shows you one step per day, how to grow your business from idea to enterprise. There's also free training, free um websites there. You can go and set up a website instantly on my website. And you can also um, you can also go there and sign up for premium coaching. Uh, we've partnered with Wealthy Affiliate, so I can be your um, coach at Wealthy Affiliate if you sign up there. So that's all that I have for this video. Um, Hopefully it was helpful for you. If it was, please give a thumbs up and um, leave your comments. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section below. And also, if you want to see more videos like this where I'll be doing tours of affiliate networks or of um, different online marketing training or Uh, talking about entrepreneurship and lifestyle topics, please subscribe to this channel. I would love if you joined me on this journey. Um, And have a blessed day. Bye.